morning. Thank you for tuning in for your come up. Today we're gonna have a we're gonna have a conversation with a buddy of mine from school, Arnold. And just want to let you guys know if you enjoy the conversation, go ahead and drop us a like, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss your come up. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> I know you're in addition to your day job, mm. you do a lot of side hustles to, you know, in this day and age, it seems like it takes two incomes. For a household and some and a lot of folks have a side side income too or side mm. hustles yeah. would you be able to share what do you do as far as your side hustles to put more uh more income in, in your into the household or from home or whatnot well from what i found uh with with side hustles that side hustles that actually bring in a lot of um extra money keeping up with what's trending so like when uber and lyft when when that was um coming up Maybe like five, six years ago, um, especially with like Coachella Fest and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, I was one of those drivers out there, you know, you can easily in a, in a night bring in 300 to $1,000 mm -hmm. um, in, in a night. You know, working weekends in downtown Palm Springs, like, man, I'm really dropping off someone half a mile and, and this is bringing me 15 bucks for, mm -hmm. for this, you know, <laughs> uh, with surging prices and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I kind of dropped off of that, but I still kind of kept my, my foot in there to have that ability to things that are popular, like toys, um, vintage stuff. Yeah, I, I do I do a lot of eBay, okay. uh, flipping stuff on eBay. Um, Saturday mornings is, is one of my uh, favorite times to go out and start hunting for stuff at gar uh, yard sales oh, and garage okay. sales. I was just going to ask, how do you find these toys <laughs> in vintage deals? So garage sales, yeah. okay. And I love that feeling, you know, you spend like like five, ten bucks and you're like, whoa, man, this flip, this flip for, for 25, 100, mm -hmm. 80. What maybe, kind of toys maybe. do you look for when you go to a garage sale? Is it like uh, G.I. Joe's or? Oh, man, if they have G.I. Joe's, mm -hmm. um, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a lot of vintage stuff, like, like even um, like Hot Wheels, okay. especially a lot of the older ones that are um, more like die cast metal, heavier. Um, I'll even pull out my phone, the eBay app, and just and just look it up at the completed <laughs> listings, and just pretend like I'm texting somebody. Yeah. I'm like, oh damn, okay. Oh, oh, you want to sell this for five? Will you take three? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I even go to the, the, the thrift shops. Yeah. Like man, you, you if you know your brands. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to my to my cousin uh, Lance El Pagaduan. Mm -hmm. uh, he he uh, he's the one who who turned me on to this uh, many many years ago. He would go to like Goodwill, yeah. and then what 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 really got me motivated to do, to do it is he found like these uh, Japanese uh, designer jeans, mm -hmm. and he bought them for like ten bucks. But then the the people at the Goodwill they didn't know they're just like oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, but he sold them for like eight hundred bucks on, on eBay. I, I look I look for for pretty pretty much anything all across the board. If if there's a a profit for it, yeah. <laughs> And that's just one of your side hustles. You also brought something else that <clears throat> that you do as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> with the pandemic happening and e-commerce stores growing, drop shipping, uh, I was like, man, I got to get educated on this. And so I remember in the news seeing how wipes and hand sanitizer and disinfectant spray, disinfectant wipes were um, starting to become difficult to find. I was like, man, I remember just Googling around. I'm like, oh, UVC light, mm -hmm. uh, using UVC as a way to disinfect. And I started researching about it. I'm like, man, why are people not using this even more? Mm -hmm. So uh, I looked it up. I found some suppliers, got educated on, on uh, e-commerce stores. And, I, and then I came up with this um, product, it's a UVC wand. It disinfects uh, surfaces, sanitizes, sterilizes. Um, you can you can sanitize pretty much any surface. You do have to be careful because the light it, it can be harmful. Mm -hmm. uh, to um, you know, kind of opens up like that. Oh, and so you just yeah on the table with the UV light sanitized. Table, even couch couches. Hands. Uh, no, no, oh, um, no skin. skin. Skin and eyes. You got to keep that away from because. Um, UVC is also from the sun, okay. but um, it, it comes naturally from the sun, but it, it, it's absorbed by the ozone layer. Okay. And so, so it doesn't really affect us. But um, when you have it in this form, it can actually, uh, in a short amount of time, could be um, damaging to the, to, to the skin. So 
Can you use that on a cell phone? Absolutely. Oh, cell okay, because cell phones can contain a lot of mm -hmm. bacteria and germs. Yeah. Especially yeah. when some people are taking their cell phones to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Cell phone, keys. I, I definitely use it as like, I still wipe down surfaces, mm -hmm. but then use this as like an extra layer of, of sanitation. You, you do have to kind of go uh, slow because the more time that you expose whatever surface, the more germs, bacteria, mold, and um, some viruses. They, they haven't actually proved uh, kills COVID, yeah. but what, what UVC does is it, it alters the DNA and, R, and RNA mm -hmm. of organic cells, so that way they can't reproduce anymore. Okay. So um, hospitals even use it as okay. well as a part of their cleaning protocol. That's awesome. Is uh, you work at a hospital? Are they using that as well, or not this product in particular? Oh. They use a, a much more expensive, like ten to fifteen thousand um, dollar machine that that they that they put in a room, yeah. and then when when you turn it on, you can't be in the room. Oh, it's like okay. a like a, a little, like a timer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Household friendly, affordable. Um, affordable yeah. Okay. Uh, if, if you wear cargo shorts, you can put in your cargo pocket for, for guys or, or women, of course, uh, probably your purse. Yeah. <laughs> so we go out to a restaurant. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, babies. <laughs> I got my logo yeah, on there. <laughs> what's, what's that on there? <laughs> yeah. For anyone that's interested in getting that, where can they purchase that from? You can go to 143uv.com. One is spelled out, so O-N-E, and then the number 43uv.com. Okay. I'll put, I'll put like a text on there. And then also anyone that's driving, I'll also put a link in the description as well. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So, and Arnold, you're a man of many talents. So eBay and the UV uh, sanitizer, mm -hmm. that's not your only things in your arsenal. So um, I promote a, a lot of it on my social media. Uh, we do a podcast as well, me, mm -hmm. uh, brother, and a few of my friends. Um, it's called the Never Seen It podcast. Okay. The, the more platforms that you're on, yeah. uh, especially if you're doing side hustles, the better because in the hustle game, mm -hmm. um, you want the attention. And so right. there's a lot of attention on, on each platform. And so you gotta find your way in, in each one of those platforms. So um, the podcast world um, was one that we wanted to get in. Our friend who, who's, whose main idea for the podcast, um, his name is Justin Holden. Okay. Um, He's the vice president for Palm Springs Comic Con, uh, and the other two guys, Adrian Delatore and Anthony Girardi, they're both great on uh, audiovisual stuff. They're um, our technical guys, and really, they have really great radio voices. Right. So we do a, a, that podcast um, about movies that we've never seen. A couple of us who have never seen a movie, and what the one who hosts it is. A person who has seen the movie, mm -hmm. we do it before and after uh, of the of the movie. So, like, what what is our take? What do we think the movie is going to be about? And what do we know about it? We don't actually record ourselves watching the movie. We just uh, re record ourselves after and, and get our our. Oh, those our reactions take on it. are funny sometimes, where you see people's reactions while watching the movie or whatnot. Or yeah. Okay. Well, we do have that in place, but um, mm -hmm. we haven't we haven't done that yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're on season two now. Okay. Um, and how many episodes uh, in the season? Ten. Ten. Okay. Ten episodes. That that was a, we had ten in uh, season one, but this season we had ten scheduled. But we're like, oh, we gotta do um, a, a Christmas episode, so we'll probably have eleven. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, you know, so you have, so I'm running down your your hustle. So you got the eBay buy and flip from garage sales, um, thrift stores, and then is there any other ways you find your your toys or your or stuff to buy and flip? What I would do every year also is like um, on events like San Diego Comic Con or Complex Con, um, the, a lot of times vendors they'll make products specifically for that convention. So mm. there'll be like a, a limited run. Okay. And so those limiteds, they, they uh, boost up the, the value oh, of, of the toys. Okay. It's funny. They'll have the same, like for example, Funko Pop. Mm -hmm. They'll have the same one at the stores like Target or, or Walmart, or whatever. Yeah. But then because it has that sticker, San, Di San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, yeah. it, it'll boost the value from like 10 to like 25, $30, easy oh. flip. If you catch it at the right time, you can you can flip it for maybe $60, $100 because the hype, mm -hmm. you know. Long term, I definitely wanna see myself being in the food world, yeah. whether it be 
you know, food truck, or food trucks, mm -hmm. a brick and mortar, or a combination of both, right? Uh, or even private catering. I was probably leaning more towards private catering. Oh, that's more fun weddings and uh, uh huh. You know, and my, my wife she loves to do all, uh, all the non-food stuff, so all the decor and all that. Mm -hmm. but, but that's more of a long-term play. Mm -hmm. um, the the short-term play were, were all the eBay flipping, um, Uber back when I was when I was driving. I mean, in my book, additional ways to earn more. They don't teach. I've yeah. talked about other things to do. Like I talk about, you know, buying from here, flipping it, or starting a website, um, or investing in this funds right here, or in REITs that kind of put more in your pocket, as well as other tips. But sports cards were not one of the tips I mentioned, and that was fresh. And that's something I heard Gary Vee talk about. Oh yeah. I, mean, I never even thought about sports cards. I mean, I like watching sports on TV, mm, but mm. no, there's, it's amazing how there's, depending on what your interests are, there's money anywhere and everywhere if you know how to capitalize on it. That's so true. Yeah. It, it all depends on how much time that you want to put into educating yourself right. about it. Um, uh, most of these things, sports cards world, uh, cooking, uh, this product, light, yeah. um, just Googling YouTube, gosh, the, the world right now is so abundant. You can, you can, I'm not, not trying to tell people to not go to college or anything, right. but um, you, you certainly can educate yourself and, and um, be a major player in whatever market that you want to be in. Right, no, education is important. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I went to school four years, mm. uh, actually, it took me longer than four years, had <laughs> you know, had some things there, but uh, the, I think true education really begins after school because mm. half the stuff you learn about drop shipping uh designing products hide hustle ebay flipping they don't teach you that in college mm -hmm. uh just recently you know I, I started an apparel company jam and for those that follow my jam apparel on instagram it's a small following i just started a month ago it, it's it's meant for my kids junior and miracle oh okay and the question mark is also like the company i put behind it what else is there and, and it goes back to in Matthew with man it's impossible but with God everything's possible so mm. and because my ex at the time was high risk type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure it's a lot of miscarriages that happen before those oh. kids are born so it was by God's grace so as a way of reminding myself that how yeah. the kids came about and through whose grace it came about that's where jam came about Dude, I, I kind of got goosebumps that, that, that's, <laughs> that's awesome man I remember you back in school saying so many times saying dude that's the jam right there uh, I, can, I can i can hear you that's the jam oh that's my jam other than that appreciate you coming in today dude yeah absolutely thanks for having me no problem thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time <laughs>